Hi, welcome. This video is all about the ridiculous unpredictability of perimenopause and menopause symptoms. Have you noticed that you seem to have a different set of discomforts and frustrations almost on a daily basis? Every day is a new unwanted adventure for me and I'm fairly certain I'm not alone. From the very beginning of perimenopause, I've been trying to deal with symptoms cycling in and out randomly. My transition started with a frozen shoulder. I made a doctor's appointment pretty quickly for that painful condition. Then the palpitation started, so I made a doctor's appointment to deal with that. Soon the joint pain started creeping in. That required a doctor's appointment as well. Then dizziness, followed by scary bloating and nausea. Then a return of my joint pain with the added bonus of tendonitis all requiring doctor's visits. The coming and going of symptoms and constant appointments became so frequent that the doctor finally just started throwing everything into the anxiety bucket because he had no explanation for any of it. I thought I was losing it. This went on for years, symptoms appearing, then disappearing only to be replaced by brand new symptoms, then being sideswiped by a return of old symptoms that I thought were long gone for good hopping from doctor to doctor, trying to get help with these ever-changing symptoms that made absolutely zero sense. Now in postmenopause and having spoken to so many of you, I can say with certainty that it is common for symptoms to cycle in and out seemingly randomly. A new unwanted surprise every day. The scariest, most confusing of the unpredictable symptoms is shifting pain. My pain moves around constantly. One day I'll be suffering from serious chest pain. Then two days later, both my legs are hurting. Three days after that, my shoulder and neck are acting up. And then the following day, my feet are so flared that it feels like I'm walking around on Legos all day. I sometimes don't have pain points long enough to even make a doctor's appointment to go in and have it checked out. This insanity actually led me to be tested for autoimmune diseases and things like rheumatoid arthritis, which of course all came back fine. I can definitely understand how this menopause induced manic pain could literally scare the poop out of someone or leave the doctors completely perplexed if they're not educated on menopause. It's just complete lunacy at times. I'm guessing the effects of shifting hormones on joints, tendons, and muscles only flare in a certain number of places at any given time. So different areas of the body take their turns torturing you. Many of the 100 possible symptoms in menopause can also cycle in and out in unpredictable patterns and groups, leaving you convinced that you are seriously ill or worse. It honestly feels as if your body is breaking down. And as I mentioned earlier, I have spent a lot of time in doctor's offices over a long list of seemingly unrelated symptoms. Headaches, then stomach pain, muscle cramps, dry eyes, adrenaline surges, the list goes on. A new unwanted symptom for every new day. It's so unnerving and exhausting. Who wouldn't think they were in some kind of dire circumstance with all of that going on? But I speak to many of you on a daily basis who report different disruptions from day to day. So if this is happening to you, don't panic. The body seems to respond to the differing levels of hormones in weird and wonderful ways, unfortunately. Mental symptoms also seem to fluctuate and change constantly and often out of the blue. Bouncing around from anxiety to happiness to panic to sadness to brain fog and confusion to rage is very disturbing. It can seriously feel like you're losing your mind. I am fully aware that it's hormonal and I'm still greatly disturbed by this emotional roller coaster that I constantly seem to be riding. Playing emotional roulette every day is exhausting. The entire menopausal transition is such a tumultuous time for many of us. Even understanding the cause of the unpredictability does not erase the frustration, worry, discomfort, or fight to find a compassionate doctor. Oh, the days of going to the doctor for a singular issue, getting a diagnosis and treatment, and leaving. I so wish I could go back to that time. I would love to hear from all of you. 
Are you experiencing differing issues from day to day? How are you coping with them? And how is your doctor dealing with this never ending symptom wheel? I pray you all feel peace of body and mind very soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.